MCB for you one chapter five session four. In this session, we are going to work on exercises from page two thirty two, two thirty three, and two thirty four. The first question is question number three, part F. We are looking for derivative of gt equals e to the power of 2t divided by 1 plus e to the power of 2t. If we use quotient rule, the derivative of this fraction would be 2e 2t, derivative of numerator, times 1 plus e to the power of 2t, minus 2e to the power of 2t, times numerator e to the power of 2t divided by 1 plus e to the power of 2t to the power of 2. This can be simplified as 2 e to the power of 2t divided by 1 plus e to the power of 2t to the power of 2. If we expand and simplify the numerator, 2e to the power of 40 and minus 2e to the power of 40 cancel each other. Question 4, part b. Determine the slope of the tangent line f prime of 0 to the graph of y equals e to the power of minus 1 over x plus 1 when x is 0. We know derivative of e to the power of g of x is g prime of x e to the power of g of x. Therefore, derivative of this function would be derivative of negative 1 over x plus 1, which can be found by quotient rule, and it is 1 over x plus 1 to the power of 2 e to the power of minus 1 over x plus 1. Therefore, f prime of 0 is e to the power of negative 1. Next question, question number 9. If y equals 5 over 2 e to the power of 5x plus e to the power of negative 5x, question, question number 9. If y equals 5 over 2 e to the power of x over 5 plus e to the power of negative x over 5, prove that y double prime is y over 25. If we take the derivative of the function, it is going to be 1 over 2, because derivative of e to the power of x over 5 is 1 over 5 times e to the power of x over 5 times 5 over 2 is 1 over 2, e to the power of x over 5 minus e to the power of minus x over 5. If you take the second derivative, y double prime would be 1 over 10, times e to the power of x over 5 minus e to the power of plus e to the power of negative x over 5. This means y double prime is 1 over 10 times 2 over 5 times y. e to the power of x over 5 plus e to the power of negative x over 5 is 2 over 5 times y, which is y over 25. Next question, question number 12. The number n of bacteria in a culture at time t in hours is nt equals 1000 times 30 plus e to the power of negative t over 30. What is the initial number of bacteria? The initial number of bacteria is n at 0. 
and it is 1000 times 31, 31,000. 30 plus e to the power of 0 is 31. Determine the rate of change in the number of bacteria at time t. So we need to find the derivative of nt, which is 1,000 times negative 1 over 30 e to the power of negative t over 30. How fast is the number of bacteria changing when t is 20? We are looking for n prime of 20, which is negative 1000 over 30 times e to the power of negative 20 over 30, e to the power of negative 2 over 3. So the number of bacteria is decreasing at this rate, 1000 over 30, which is 10 over 3 to the power of negative 2 third. Bacteria in R. Determine the largest number of bacteria in culture during t equals 0, t is greater or equal than 0, to smaller or equal than 50. We are looking for maximum of the given function on a closed interval. The derivative of the function is always negative. That means function is decreasing. Therefore, the number of bacteria at the beginning is the maximum, which is 31,000. What is happening to the number of bacteria in culture as time passes? As you see, the derivative is decreasing. That means the number of bacteria decreases as time passes. Question number 14. Part B, limit of 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x as x approaches 0. You can use a table of values. But what we can do is, using the limit that we had before, limit of 1 plus 1 over x to the power of x as x approaches infinity is e. If we assume x is 1 over t, the given limit can be written as limit of 1 plus 1 over t to the power of t as t approaches infinity, which is e, the irrational number that is based on based of natural log. Question 15. Use the definition of the derivative to evaluate each limit. Limit of e to the power of 2 plus h minus e to the power of 2 over h as h approaches 0. If we consider f of x equals e to the power of x, this limit is derivative of e to the power of x at x equals 2. Derivative of e to the power of x is e to the power of x, therefore this limit is e to the power of 2. Question number 16, for what values of m the function y equals a e to the power of mt satisfies this equation? Second derivative of y plus first derivative of y minus 6 times y equals 0. The second derivative of the function is what we have to calculate. The first derivative is m a e to the power of m t. a is constant. Derivative of e to the power of m t is m e to the power of m t. Therefore, the first derivative is m a e to the power of m t. And the second derivative is m2 a e to the power of m t. Therefore, the given equation would be 
M2 plus M minus 6 times A to the power of A times E to the power of MT. This means M2 plus M minus 6 should be 0. Therefore, M is either 2 or negative 3. Thanks for watching.